All articles in the American Astronomical Society's journal portfolio will be immediately open for anyone to freely read. That's starting January 1, 2022. The transition will affect the Astronomical Journal, the Astrophysical Journal, the Astrophysical Journal Letters, and the Astrophysical Journal Supplement Series. The AAS's community-owned, peer-reviewed journals collectively publish more than 4,000 articles each year from a diverse and international authorship. Those articles fall within seven topical corridors, and they consistently feature some of the most read and most cited research results in the astronomical sciences. First and foremost, the AAS has made this decision to change the business and access model of the journals because, in our opinion, it is what is best for the community. We have a long history of publishing by and for the community, as evidenced, for example, by our review process that focuses on the improvement of a paper, along with our traditionally low subscription rates and our providing open access to papers a year after publication. This move to make the journals fully open access was a natural step for us to further maximize visibility of papers, make a positive impact on society, provide a home for all the research required to publish open access by funder mandates, and ensure that the best science is available to all to read, to learn, and to build upon. As a scientist and author, uh, I fully support the positive impact on science the open availability of research provides. The generous waiver program also, I believe, democratizes the process even further to ensure that journals are truly open to all. As a scientific editor, this enhances an already prestigious portfolio of top tier journals by broadening the reach and ultimately the impact of the science to our international community and the world at large. The point of doing science is to share it as widely as possible. So when the proposal to move to an open access model was brought to the board, I was immediately enthusiastic. Now, the board has a fiduciary responsibility to make sure that any decision we make is financially viable. And so there was some due diligence, but ultimately, and I think unusually for such an important decision, this was actually an easy call. Our authors are already used to supporting our journals through page charges, and more and more of them were already paying for gold open access in order to make their papers immediately available. And I'll just add that personally, it was really important to me that going forward, when you pay your page charges, you'll also be supporting a waiver fund for researchers who can't currently afford to publish in the AAS journals. I was a member of the publication committee when the change to open access was discussed and approved by the committee, and I fully supported this decision then and now. As AAS leaders, it's our responsibility to ensure that these journals continue to serve our community and our science and the mission of the AAS. As a scientist, I understand the value of publishing in a journal that gives maximum visibility and access to your research so that others can learn from it and expand on it. The AAS journals are already highly trusted and highly respected, and this change further enhances their top tier status by making sure that they're available to all of us 